Extract sales orders from SAP with Parrot My Desktop will be today's tutorial topic. So I already created a flow on Parrot My Desktop, I already set up to start and log in into SAP. So if you want to learn how to set up that part, make sure you watch the tutorial that will appear now here on the top. So before anything, I'll just run to see if it's working. So we can see SAP logon, it's being started. And now we will see SAP login screen appearing and the login will be done automatically. So after doing the login into SAP to be able to export to extract sales orders, we have to navigate to the screen from where we can export uh, C sales orders. So we need to execute a transaction called VA05. So then will appear uh, the screen from where we can get a list of sales orders to later export, for example, to a spreadsheet. So to execute a transaction uh, here on Proud My Desktop, uh, SAP transaction, we'll use the start SAP transaction action. And so here we simply have to indicate a transaction code. So uh, let's indicate here VA05. And now let's see how it's working. So uh, here we should see the navigation being done to the list of sales or screen. So to don't do again the login into SAP, so to don't start from the beginning, let's run from the start SAP transaction. However, to be able to do that, we have to uh, here use attach action to attach to the SAP instance. So uh, we don't need to also run the launch SAP action. So here, uh, let's select attach mode foreground or last activated. And then here the variable, so will be SAP instance. So the same that is produced from the launch SAP action and use it on the start SAP transaction. And now we can just run from this action. And so the flow was executed successfully. And here you can see the navigation was done. So let's just make sure here so we can see really that being done. So let's run again. And so here you can see that it worked well. So now we are on the list of sales order screen. So from here, uh, we can apply filters as we desire. We can filter by uh, document, material. So here we can apply many filters. So one of the filters that we can use, uh, let's use here the selection criteria to select only, to get only open sales orders. So we have to click here on this radio button. So for that, we have a specific action. So it is here the select radio button in window. So let's drag it. And now first we have to add the white helmet. So let's click here on add white helmet. And now let's indicate here uh, the open sales orders radio button by clicking on control and then on the left click. So now it's uh, capturing the helmet and cl let's click now on save. And now let's test to see if it's working well here, the select radio button. So let's run again from the attach. So let's run from here. And now we should see here the button being selected. As we can see, it was selected. And uh, that's it. Then we could apply other filters, but let's keep it simple. So after applying the filters, we have to execute here the search. So to execute, we can either click on this button that uh, we can see here or execute the F8 uh, keyboard key that uh, works in the same way. So it executes basically uh, this button. So Let's use uh, the keyboard keys. So we have to use here the action send keys. So let's drag it. And now uh, send keys to foreground window. So the window that will be on the foreground. And so here uh, the keys to send. So it will be function keys, the F8. And that's it basically. So I'll save. And now let's see if it's working. So I'll run again from the attach. Well, 
select the radio button. And we can see it's being executed, the search. And here we can see the list of sales orders. So from here, uh, we can easily export the sales orders to a TXT file, for example, or even an Excel file. So we could export to an Excel file by clicking on this button. However, on my SAP instance, I'm not able, I'm getting here this error. So you can try on your side to see if it works this option. However, uh, on this tutorial, I will use this one. So to export to a local file and there will appear a pop-up that allows us to choose um, basically the file how we want it. So if you want it unconverted, text with tabs, rich text format and more. So let's set up first here the click on this uh, button. We can either use a click action or execute the keyboard command Control shift f9 both will work so just to use another action let's use a click now so are you ready to master sap automation with platforms like ypath power automate automation anywhere blue prism and even python in my upcoming courses you'll get hands-on experience and real sap access so you can practice everything you learn free access to sap is impossible to get as far as i'm aware but i'll got you covered on my courses and i'm about to launch these sap automation courses anytime soon subscribe via the link below in the description or in the comments to stay tuned and be the first to know when these courses go live so here it will be a press button from Y Automation. And so we have to indicate first the Y helmet. First, we need to capture it. So let's add a Y helmet. And now uh, let's indicate here this button. And that's basically it. So now we can just hit save. And let's already simulate what will appear next. So next uh, will appear the pop-up. So from here, we need to choose option. So by default, uh, will be selected unconverted. So let's use this one, but make sure it's always the one that is selected. Let's just use a select radio button. And then we have click here on this button. So first, let's use a select radio button from Y Automation. And let's add a new Y helmet. Let's indicate this option. Then we need to click on this button. So let's use a press button action. So let's add a new Y helmet and indicate this button. Let's save. And uh, let's see how it's working currently. So let's go back to the SAP home screen and let's run from the attach. So SAP transaction was executed. Now we'll be applying the filter and execute uh, here the search. Now we shall see appearing uh, the pop-up from where we have to choose uh, the file format. Here we can see it's working well. So uh, now we have to handle this pop-up where we should set where we want to save the file and we should be the generated file name. So here let's handle both fields. So by default, it will appear this text, but make sure we will save where we want. Uh, let's use first here, populate a text action from Y Automation, uh, so to populate here the path. So first we need to capture the Y helmet here. And uh, here the text, so I'll just paste the default. And then let's use another one for the file name. So I will here add another Y helmet. And the file name to define it can be something dynamic for example so i'll just here use a date a time action to get uh, the current date just before this action and so i'll say that i want to get the current date and time and so on the system time zone 
So we'll get this as output. And so here, uh, the file name to generate. So we can start with sales orders underscore and now let's use the data from the current date time variable so initially we can for example display the year and then uh, let's add the month then the day hour then the minute and then the second so uh, this will just make sure that always when execute the flow, the file name will be unique and will not exist conflicts with files with the same name. So I'm using first year, mount, day, hour, uh, minute and second. So let's save. And right after uh, filling the file name, we need to click on the generate button. So for that, we'll use the press button in window project. And let's add a new UI element. So let's indicate the generate button. Let's save. And now let's run automation from the beginning until the end. So we can comment here that attach action. It was useful just to run the automation of the flow from here without running the launch SAP. So let's just disable it or even remove. And now let's close SAP. And that's it. So let's run our flow. So SAP logon is being started and the login will be done automatically. Now we'll be executed the transaction and we'll be now applying the filter on the selection criteria. Execute the search. So now uh, we will export to the local uh, file and converted format. And now we'll be defining the file name. And we got an exception because we didn't have the file extension on the action. And so we got this pop-up. So here, let's just uh, close. Let's make sure we have in the hand .txt to avoid the issue that we got. And I'll just uh, run again. So I'll just close SAP and run. And it's been generated a file now without any exception and the file was generated so if we now go over the directory here we can see the file that was generated from this execution and here you can see the file content so here you can see basically uh, the extraction of sales orders and that's it for this tutorial, if you like it, please give a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel and enable the notifications bell so you don't miss any automation tutorial released here on the channel.